Hey guys, it's Google Fifty Five here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to remove the background from any photo that you would like. Now, f for today's um, for today's example, I'm just going to take the background out of a picture of a flower, but you can do this with any picture you want. Now, the process is relatively easy, and you don't need any special hardware or anything. But you will have to download one program, which is called Paint.net, which you can find f in the download link in the description. Uh, now, if you go to the website, paid.net, you're not going to find anything, so don't even bother trying that. I'm just trying to save some time by giving you the download link in the description. So, anyways, once you've downloaded that and installed it, right-click your photo, go to Open With, and click on paid.net. Now, we'll open. Now, I'm just going to zoom in here, because the photo is awfully small. Now, to rem now we're going to start removing the uh, background. So, you want to click on the Magic Wand tool and change the tolerance to, I'd say, around 30. Some photos more, some photos less. And you're just going to want to start clicking. Now, if you find that the areas are too small, that it's selecting, because those are the areas of your background that you're going to remove. So if I press the delete key, that area gets removed. But if you find that they're kind of too small or too choppy or whatever, you can move up the tolerance a little bit. But if it starts to go into the flower, you're going to want to move the tolerance uh, down a little bit because we don't want it going into the flower itself. Now, in my case, it just happens to be that I could set the tolerance at around 50, but you guys probably will have to set it lower. I think it's just this picture that, for some reason, it can withstand a very high tolerance. And basically, you're just going to want to press each part of the background till it's completely removed, and then after you select that piece, press the delete key and this will this will remove the background and replace it with white and gray squares which basically means transparent so later we can add a new background to it and we're almost done removing the whole background here which I'm really surprised because this is about my third take of this video and all the other ones it took forever to remove the background but um, this one is actually moving along pretty fast, so we're just going to continue until the whole background is removed. And so basically, just in case you didn't hear me earlier, you click and press the delete key. Click, press the delete key. And there we have it. So I'll be back in a minute to, tell, to show you how to uh, put a new background. Okay guys, now we're going to put the flower on a different background, so to do that, uh, you want to select the whole back bra sorry, the whole background, which is the gray and white spots, by clicking the control key, and then choosing all the gray and white spots. Now once you've done that, you're going to go to edit, invert selection, and then edit, copy. Now you're going to want to click file, new, okay and this will open a new canvas and now is the time that you're going to want to put on your background so you can either copy and paste a picture from somewhere else or you can make a solid color background or any background that you really want now always put the background before the flower or any other picture that you're trying to take out so for the, this example I'm going to use a black uh, solid background so I'm just going to use the paint tool go to black solid and now I'm going to paste the flower on. So edit, paste. And as you can see, the flower is there. There is a white outline around the flower, but it's pretty good for a free program. Anyways, uh, so if you have any questions or comments, just leave them in the comments box below. And before we leave, uh, I'd like to ask you, go check out my friend's channel, uh, Lightning Flash Videos. The link will be in the description. He doesn't have any videos up yet, but there's going to be Macromedia Flash videos. Anyway, so go check that out, and I'll be back with another tutorial very soon.